What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? Crypto Airborne in the house, dropping you guys the latest and greatest cryptocurrency news and updates. Today is August 9th, 2021, and I've got some updates to the infrastructure bill and the amendments for the cryptocurrency space. All right, guys, so talking about the cryptocurrency market right now, we are up 3.51% the last 24 hours. We got Bitcoin just sitting at $46,000. Uh, Ethereum sitting at about $31.50, up 5%. And we got Cardano touching that $1.50 spot. We're sitting at $1.49. Top gainers the last 24 hours, we have Cartesi up 110%. 98 cents the last 24 hours. We got UMA up 18%, sitting at $11. And we got ICP up 18%, sitting at $64. Some of the top losers we have last 24 hours. We got Harvest Finance down 12.36%. We got Leo down 2%, 2.92. But overall, it seems like the general crypto market is looking green today. What is today? Today is August 9th. It is National Book Lovers Day, if you guys like reading books. Um, August 9th, Islamic New Year. And last, we got National Women's Day. So that's what it is for what is today. All right, for uh, the Crypto Fear and Greed Index, I like checking this out every once in a while. Obviously, when we're real greedy and we're extreme fear, that's the best time to buy in the crypto space. Right now, we're looking at a 65 greed. So, you know, not the greatest time to be investing, but there's still a couple things you can get here and there if you do your own research uh, to, you know, make a little profit here and there. And for you visual people, crypto bubbles, here just looks like, like I said, everything's green. XDC up 23.5%. ICP, as I just mentioned, up 18.1%. What else we got? Ravencoin still up. That from my other video, up 17.5%. And Chili's up 14.3% the last 24 hours. All right, cryptocurrency total market cap. We're almost at $2 trillion. You guys can see on the chart right here, it looks like that we're uh, headed back up to our all-time cryptocurrency market top high, about $2.6 million. Looks like, yeah, $2.618 trillion. So that's looking good as a whole for the cryptocurrency market. All right, guys, so jumping into today's main topic, U.S. lawmakers behind crypto amendments to infrastructure bill introduced compromise. The new compromise amendment could still be added to H.R. 3684 through unanimous consent request, provided no senators object. Uh, so Pat Toomey, senator, said that the... New amendment would exempt software developers, transaction validators, and node operators, while tax reporting requirements should only apply to the intermediaries. We came together to provide greater clarity on the rules of who are the actual brokers of cryptocurrency, said Toomey. We're not proposing anything sweeping or anything radical. Our solution makes clear that a broker means only, the, only those persons who conduct transactions where consumers buy, sell, and trade digital assets. I remember reading something, someone posted on Twitter saying that this applies to stake pool operators so that everyone who stakes on their pool, they make profit that they're going to have to fill out tax forms, which physically is going to be, I won't say it's impossible, but it's going to be extremely hard to do. Um, next, we got Jerry Brito, head of DC-based crypto think tank revealed some of the text of the modified amendment, showing that it would change the definition of broker in H.R. 3684 to apply to any person who regularly effectuates transfers of digital assets on behalf of another person. Uh, we can't afford to get this wrong, said Loomis during the press conference. So basically what she was saying here is that they rushed this bill out where nobody even sent it in the Senate didn't even know anything about cryptocurrency. There was only like four or five people that were talking about it that actually knew what they were talking about it. So here she sums it up in this quote, the silver lining behind all of this debate and discussion is that we found out who in the Senate is interested in this subject who maybe previously didn't know anything about it. We finally were able to illustrate to members of the Senate that there are a lot of people that are interested in digital assets, working in some aspect of digital assets, and now have contact with their US senators. Should the amendment be attached to the infrastructure bill on Monday, today, August 9th, and approved in a vote on Tuesday, the legislation still will need to go through the House of Representatives before being signed into law by President Joe Biden. So there you have it, guys. I don't know. It's looking like 
we're moving in the right direction with some type of legislation in the cryptocurrency space. May not be 100% clear, but I mean, let's kind of roll with it right now. That's kind of how I feel and kind of adjust and do more amendments moving forward. Uh, and then Senator Cynthia Loomis, some of her most recent tweets about an hour ago, she said that we've been working all weekend to come up with a compromise to address the digital asset broker issue in the bipartisan infrastructure framework. While it's not perfect, it protects innovation and doesn't choose winners and losers. Today, we're going to push for unanimous consent agreement on the Senate floor, which we are hoping to be successful. While there are bumps in the road, this is how the Senate is supposed to work. And then she starts thanking some of the other people that helped for their hard work. Open minds on the issue. Next tweet we have here is Rob Portman. Uh, I'm pleased to announce that Senators Warner, Toomey, Cinema, Loomis, and I have reached an agreement on an amendment to clarify IRS reporting rules for crypto transactions without curbing innovation or imposing information reporting requirements on stakers, miners, or other non-brokers. So there you have it, guys. Hopefully you guys enjoyed that. I think we're moving in the right direction. Um, I, I'm glad there are some of these people that are helping the crypto space and they're pushing here in Congress and at the Senate level, but go ahead, do your part. Guys, I'll link below. Make sure you guys are calling. Also saw Coinbase is doing something on your behalf. And you can fill out something. They send it to the Senate and Congress on your behalf. That's what I did a couple days ago, but I'll link that down below in the description so you guys can check it out if you don't want to make a phone call. Check out my previous video uh, for some info on that. Um, and jumping back over to the uh, the stock to flow model for Bitcoin, it looks like we're heading back up on track for the second leg up. I like resorting to this stock to flow model for Bitcoin uh, every now and then, just because this has been the most accurate since the beginning of Bitcoin. Um, so that's good to see. Also, we do need to stay above the 200 day moving average on the daily. I know we just touched it yesterday, but it would would be good to see a couple green candles above that 200 to confirm this second leg next push up. All right, guys, so that's pretty much all I have it for today's video. Again, follow me on Twitter at Crypto Airborne, uh, at dperch531. That is where I am the most active. Also, TikTok, I've been slacking there. I'm going to try to make a video today. It kind of sums up, uh, sums up everything that I do in my YouTube videos and some other types of quick tidbits of news and information. Also, this guy in one of my tweets today, Doug Walsh, crypto is and always will be a scam. It's not sustainable currency. It still blows my mind how many people think crypto is a Ponzi and a scam. Like, granted, you do have like your S coins that are pump and dumps that people, you know, it's those ones that are 0 0.0001 one of a penny. Um, and they get all their buddies behind it, and they pump it, they buy a bunch of it, pump it, and then before it's too late, when you find out about it, then it dumps. Yeah, you have that, but. That's like I what I always say is do your own research, guys. Um, crypto's here for the long haul. It's going to be adopted. Congress in the at least in the United States, we're trying to adopt it for uh, better, you know, innovation and for the United States moving forward and for the rest of the world. So that's all I have for you guys. If you guys like this video, smash that thumbs button on the way out. Leave a comment below. You know, give me some feedback and uh, have a great day, guys. Crypto Airborne out.